This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here at Pat Barrett's gym in Manchester. I uh, had a fight night here in Manchester uh, on March 26th. I'm joined by 5 0 prospect Connor Ward. Uh, looking to go 6 0 in fashion. Yeah, definitely. Can't wait. Uh, yeah. Just uh, for people who don't know uh, much about yourself, just tell me how you've landed in this uh, crazy sport and uh, a bit about your amateurs as well, mate. Yeah, well, I've been, in, been boxing now for probably about 14 years, to be fair. Um, did well in the amateurs. I won a national title. Was um, six times Northwest title as well. Um, yeah, I've been in this gym probably about, about ten years now. Oh, good stuff, and uh, that has got to stand you in good stead. All that experience from a, from a little boy yeah. uh, in the professional ranks. I'm sure you've experienced that so far in your first five fights. What have you been pleased so far in your first five outings with, and not so pleased perhaps as well? Maybe just I need to be a bit more aggressive um, in my fights. I'm kind of sit, sitting back and just um, waiting a bit too much. I want to start putting on these kids now. Okay, so let's let some hands go on March 26th. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully. But it's good that you've also banked the rounds. Um, you yeah. don't want to just blast journeyman out and then yeah. get to a better level and then start struggling there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess uh, finding that balance of getting the right amount of quick stoppages and getting the rounds is, is yeah, key. Yeah, fair, the rounds are very important. They are very important. Early in your career anyway, so when you get towards the big fights and like, you've got them rounds banked. I feel like you just want to blast someone out though at the moment. I feel like I'm in the mood for it to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trained out for this fight, so... And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you keep racking up the wins this year. Where do you see yourself at the end of 2022? Well, hopefully if we get um, four more fights in this year. Now I'll be um, be nine and all. So hopefully next year I'll be hopefully go for a central area, maybe English title. Hopefully if everything goes well this year, um, yeah, that's where I see myself to be fair next year. All right, good stuff. And I ask this to uh, all prospects that I speak to. Anyone? It doesn't have to be anyone. But is there anyone that kind of inspired you to get in this sport? Anyone you look up to? Yeah, my dad. My Your dad? Like, yeah, my dad's the main person who pushes me the most. He's my main supporter as well. So, yeah, they devote my career to him, to be fair. All right. Any, in terms of, like, ex-fighters, fighters currently that you look up to, right? Yeah, Canelo. I like Canelo. I like, um, I like a lot of fighters, to be fair. I look up to people in the gym, like Zalfa as well. Been in there a long time with these kids as well. So, when I look up to them, when I see them, when I see them doing well as well, I've seen where they started. They started the same place I was on Pat show. So, when I see them, how, how well they're doing now, it just motivates me. And if you had a little bit more weight and uh, you had a, a Mexican hat on, I think you are Canelo, <laughs> yeah, to be honest. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you could, if you can fight uh, half as good as a Canelo Alvarez, you'll go far in the sport. So. Yeah, you do well, to be fair. Well, yeah. Listen, Connor, best of luck March 26th. We'll uh, definitely follow the journey and uh, speak soon. I hope you're on the channel, right? So.